Our big story this evening, the teenager that drove through a stop sign killing four people will be driving again in just over a month. Jacob Olson receives probation and community service for that Easter Sunday crash in western Douglas County. KETV News Watch 7's Alexandra Stone joins us live with the big story at 6. The 17-year-old will be on probation until a day before he turns 19, but under terms laid out in juvenile court today, Olson will be allowed limited driving privileges in 45 days. A roadside memorial for four lives lost Easter Sunday, and an emotional day in court for families of the victims. He still gets to do what he wants to do after school and still do his stuff, but we can't, my brother can't do nothing. Geraldine Shook, sister of crash victim Jason Miller, not happy with Olson's punishment. Shook one of dozens of family members of all four victims in court for the hearing. Olson spoke briefly, saying he is sorry and he thinks about the accident every day. Olson's attorney, Christopher Lathrop, speaking on behalf of the family. Uh, this is a, an extremely tragic event for everybody involved. Uh, and uh, these people are ingrained in my client's memory for the rest of his life. The judge also ordered Olson can't drive for the next 45 days. After that, Olson will have a restricted license allowing him to drive to school, work, extracurriculars, and community service. It's something Lathrop says is necessary. You heard the judge talk about all the things that he wanted Jake to do while he's on probation. That's very difficult to do when you don't have a license and you are dependent upon your parents uh, to get you wherever you needed to go. And it really starts to interfere with their abilities to make a living. Those 200 hours of community service will be split between three areas. Some will be spent talking to other teens about the accident. Some will be spent at a homeless shelter or hospital. And the remainder, 75 hours, will go toward a tangible project in memory of those victims. All right, Alexander, thanks.